Let's see if we can make it happen. Ta da! <laughs> Check that out. What's going on, everybody? Whoa, almost tripped. Welcome to the world's worst fishing. I'm your host, Chris Jones. And um, today we're going to be featuring a really cool mold. It's already been released, but it's flying a little under the radar, okay? So we're going to bring it above the radar. Check it out. Here comes the pintail riprap. This is going to be awesome. So one thing that we need for today's video is the 3.8 inch rip wrap. Yep, because these two molds go hand in hand and so you're sort of getting two molds in one. So yeah, I think this is uh, really cool. So I hope y'all are gonna enjoy this video. It's gonna be super, super, super fun. As you can see, uh, we've been a wee bit busy. So yeah, we've got several, several good things on the table. But uh, the star of the show today is this bad boy right here. So let's go ahead and open her up. I was uh, gonna try to get this video out last weekend, but uh, man, just was so sick with allergies. Could barely get out of bed and uh, just had a lot of other responsibilities that, you know, kind of had to be tended to. Here we go. 3.8 rip wrap pintail. Oh, and by the way, it's a core shot. Yeah, that's right. This little bad boy is, um, I, I guess you could call it sort of like another small jigging minnow type bait, sort of uh, similar to the tracer shad, uh, sort of in keeping with some of the uh, very popular, uh, you know, live scope style baits. So yeah, this is sort of by demand. A lot of customers were asking for a mold like this and AI has brought it to us. And today's video will not be interrupted by the laundry noise. No, sir, not today. Ain't happening. Okay, so one really, really cool feature here of the new um, pintail riprap mold is that the shells, okay? So if you think about the core shot idea, right? Um, you essentially inject a shell over the core shot rod, okay? And then you can insert those shells back into the mold and then you can inject whatever color you want to shoot through the bait and become your core color. So the shells on this fit the 3.8 inch rip wrap, okay? So you can actually combine these two and essentially now core shot your 3.8 rip wrap. So what we're gonna do today is we're obviously gonna feature the pintail mold. We're gonna do a single color core shot and then we're gonna do a laminate core shot in a baby bass. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the shells that we um, ran with this mold, put them in the original rip wrap, and then what we'll have is a core shot body, but then also the core color is gonna go through the tail and you'll get a core shot and split tail rip wrap swim bait. I mean, it, it's almost like a whole mold system here these two molds working, uh, you know, colluding together uh, to, to make awesome baits. Okay, we have a very brief window of time that we can film today, so we got to get things going. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the new red label plastic from Dead On Plastics, and um, we're going to use it in the soft durometer. Again, this is a pretty small bait, uh, so I would recommend a soft or a medium like the uh, swim bait blend or uh, red label medium. So. I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a shake and uh, we are ready for action. So we're gonna start with a pretty simple color. All right, simple, simple, simple. So we're just gonna do a simple single body color to start and then uh, run a core shot through it. Um, and then we'll move on to, uh, to, to the laminate baby bass, which I think is gonna be awesome. About uh, two minutes, two minutes in the microwave will get us where we need to be. All right, so we're gonna do a snow shine um, shell, okay? Snow shine is a beautiful pearlized effect there from dead on. But we don't wanna do much, okay? Because you know, you want your shell color to be very see-through so that you get the core effect. So this is just a really, really nice translucent white pearl. Yeah, look how pretty that is. 
maybe a smidge more. All right, and then that's going to be our shell color. Nothing fancy. This will be just your good old striper or inshore color. So we're going to do, you know, pearl white core with, uh, sorry, shell with a chartreuse core and tail. All right, here we go. Let's get her done. Gonna jack nice and slow. I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to flash the plastic past the core shot rods into that tail section. So just hold light pressure. Make sure you feel like everything is filled well and then we want to top off the sprue there. All right. So you gotta make sure all your fundamentals of injection are uh, remembered. You don't wanna ever go too fast. All right, here we go. Let's check them out. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, let's take a closer look. There it is. few little bubbles creeping in there. All right, but you can see how that just slides right off. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Pretty cool how this works, the whole core shot rod idea. Something that Josh uh, sort of came up with for the hand injection market. Okay. All right, so there are the shells. And uh, now we just want to place them in the mold. It's nothing more than just popping it in. You can see it fits in there only one way. Kind of belly down. Yeah, looks nice. All right, time for some chartreuse. Why is my chartreuse making the plastic bubble? Why is there moisture in my chartreuse? That's the question of the day. But yeah, no, this is um, sort of your baseline kind of saltwater color um, you know or uh, you know stripers yeah I think I think that saturation's good yeah all right here we go nice and slow yep but you want to hold some pressure Really try to get all those cores to fill. Every now and then something gets in the way and one doesn't fill. Don't be discouraged. And that can just be a part of core shot. You know, um, you're putting a lot of obstacles in the way of the plastic, you know, getting where it needs to get. But, um, you know, the first time I shot this mold, because um, I, have, I have tested it already off camera, um, I had a really good run of baits. So... We will see how these do, and we'll meet you right back. All right, let's do a reveal. See if they worked. Come on, baby. Come on. We're going to have to split this one. There we go. Yeah. Now, I love how it almost looks like the whole thing is chartreuse, but it's not because, voila. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like an illusion. Yeah. That's pretty neat. And like the core runs really close to the top. So it almost gives off the effect of a laminate, right? With, you know, just a, a solid color tail, right? See how that almost looks like you're dealing with a laminate color but then boom it's not it's like the whole thing's like a illusion and I love baits that kind of play on your eye a little bit but yeah this right here on a jig head or uh, so sometimes what we do for stripers below the dam is we'll throw a fluke or a little minnow bait like this on a really oversized Carolina rig um, because there's just so much current down there that that's how we can get this bait to sit up off the rocks. Um, yeah, I mean, that right there would just be murder on those fish. Yeah, there it is. 
Okay, let's see if I can recreate this because this is the color that I kind of did uh, last week. Um, I kind of drug myself out here for an hour, or not even an hour, and just wanted to try the mold. Um, so let's see, the belly color was Atmosphere Dead Shift. Beautiful, kind of brilliant gold powder, um, which I thought worked really well. And then the top is ZTG Hyper Shift Base, which uh, this is a Dip Your Car uh, Hyper Shift powder here which gives us that kind of green that you need in a baby bass. And then I always like to um, spike it with some black. And one thing that I want to keep in mind here is that this is a shell color. I do not want either of these to be um, very opaque. Like I, I, I want that see-through um, you know, effect. That way we can see the core or at least see it you know, well enough. You know, it's a really hard, it's it's a fine line to get the contrast you need to see your laminate shell and to get the color that you want, but also it, it needs to be thin enough that you can see the core shot effect. So it's, it's a hard mark to hit a really great laminate that still um, shows you uh, the, the core shot effect. And, and in fact, this, this may already be, be too, uh, be too thick. Let me, uh, do a proper a proper drizzle test here on the green side you know so if, if you're ever trying to mix eh, yeah that's a little thick so if you're ever mixing a color and you get it too opaque one thing you can do is actually dilute it right because you can't take that pigment out but what you can do is add raw plastic to it and that will essentially um, change the ratio now, right? So that, what that will do, and, and I'll, I'll have to reheat it um, again, but what that will do is actually thin out that uh, color a little bit. Okay, I think I got it where I want it. So now we're going to add a little bit of flake to the top side. So we're going to do some medium black flake. That good stuff right there. And then a little bit of small gold flake. You can use medium gold flake, big gold flake, whatever you want. Just, you know, your traditional baby bass color usually has, you know, green, black, gold flake. But we're not going to add any green flake to this one. So, let's go ahead and get this mixed up. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And there we go. Not much. Just enough that you kind of know it's there. Okay. So essentially, those are our uh, two, two halves of the shell color. Just going to do a little drizzle test. Yeah. Yep, I'm liking it. Okay, here we go. Alright, and just like with any injection laminates, slow and steady wins the race. The slower you can inject it, the better. Hold a little bit of pressure. Alright. Then we want to top off. There it is. never hurts to also take one of the cups and just give that a little refill all right okay and there are the shells all right so what I uh, what I really like is that we can see the laminate okay but it's also see-through enough that I think we'll see the core yeah there again, it's a really hard mark to hit, but when you pull it off, it is something special. So, just like before, we're going to go ahead and put these in. Alright. And we went ahead and made a few extras that we'll use in the Rip Wrap Swim Bait Mold. The original Rip Wrap. Okay. 
Make sure those are all lined up good. And then we're just going to run a solid black core through them, which will sort of complete the baby bass uh, trifecta, right? You got to have, you know, um, black, green, and sort of a gold to me to have a really true baby bass. And actually, before we do that, speaking of the uh, riprap swim bait mold, we need to go ahead and uh, load these up. So we're putting these in sideways as opposed to uh, up and down like the, like the other one. Yeah, that's really, really, really nice. All right. Yeah, really cool how they were able to to sort of combine these two. You know, they Josh told me that, you know, they had some customers asking um, for sort of that uh, pintail minnow bait. And uh, I'm glad they thought of the rip wrap so that they could sort of combine these two ideas. So anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right. I have not shot the rip wrap swim bait as a core shot yet. As you can see, it's individual port. So we just want to try to hold some pressure and really hope that that cavity is filling out. It has such a narrow gate to flow through, uh, you know, because, you know, that core shot rod is pretty narrow. Clear off the injector head there. All right. Okay. All right, fingers crossed. We'll meet you back. All right, y'all thought I forgot, I didn't. We were just saving the best for last. Here we go, drum roll please. All right, it's been a while since I've played drums. I miss it, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so from the top you can't see the effect, but that's part of the fun. Let's just get one out. Ta-da! Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! You've got the baby bass laminate with the core shot effect intact. All the colors that I want are there. Amen. I don't think I could do it any better. That is perfect. All right, let's get the other ones out here. And we'll, uh, we'll do it extra clean. Instead of just ripping them, we'll cut them. Try to make them look a little fancy. Isn't this cool, guys? The core shot is just so much fun for injection. It, it takes your injection to a whole nother level. Yeah. Let's arrange those. To just make a little pile. Yeah. Really neat. That one doesn't that one doesn't want to come out of its little slot there, but yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. There it is. Amazing. Oh yeah, the swim baits killed it. Yes, look at this. <laughs> Check that out. That is amazing. Two baits in one, essentially. You can see the core shot effect from the top, especially. All the way around, you, you can see it and you still get that baby bass effect. You know, and, and this is just one pattern out of millions, right? You know, you could do this with um, sexy shad, you could do this with red shad, you could do this with any sort of bluegill colors. Um, you know, you could do sort of like a, 
a green pumpkin top with some flake. You could do a blue, right, Cora color, right, and then a white pearl belly and have sort of a three-tier bluegill. You know, there are really no limits. You could do perch. You know, this is just one thing. This is just one out of thousands. Heck yeah. Tell me that's not amazing. There it is. The new 3.8 Rip Wrap Pintail Mold Core Shot Edition with ability to uh, collaborate with your existing Rip Wrap. There it is. And there's one on a quick little hover rig setup. Internal nail weight. I could have rigged it maybe a little bit straighter, but uh, yeah, there it is, man. That's what she does. Yeah. Awesome stuff. So yeah, you know, this is sort of like the, uh, the tracer shad um, to be used pretty much any way that you can use the tracer shad. Uh, the pintail rip wrap is going to be right there alongside it sort of as a brother presentation to it, or a sister presentation. Just depend on, uh, depending on what they want that day, so. Yeah. You know, this or a jig head. Um, you, you know, put it on the back of a uh, jig, you know, a swim jig or a chatterbait for a trailer. Anything you want, this will do it. All right, let's take a quick look at the listing. Yeah, I like on the listing, they, uh, they show a few uh, of the rip wraps with the um, swim bait. There it is. Yep. There's your price and product description. Again, you know, it's a six cavity. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome bait. Yeah, recommend using a translucent color uh, when, when doing the core shot effect. Yep, very important there. Okay, yeah, that looks like that's it. There's no reviews on it yet because it's brand new. So, yeah, there we go. That's super awesome. Yeah, look at that candy right there. Looks like they did a baby bass too. Right on. There it is. Check it out. Ready to go. Well, all right, everybody. That is all the time we have um, today. Um, I hope y'all had as much fun as I did. What a fun mold to, to use. It, it kind of reminds me of the first time I ever did the core shot stick worm. I had never seen a worm with that sort of effect. And... Um, it just, you know, the whole core shot thing never gets old. You know, it's it's not something you're going to do every time because it requires a little bit more time commitment. But whenever you're feeling creative and you need an injection mold, man, like core shotting and doing the triple injector will like make a man out of you. I actually wish I could film a few more colors to try out, but um, this is Easter weekend. There's a lot of things going on to get ready for Easter and Easter actually falls on my daughter's birthday this year. So uh, we've got like double things to plan and, and get done over the weekend. Uh, so a very busy weekend for me, but uh, I'm super excited that I was able to get out here and get this video cooked up for you guys. Super fun mold. Again, if you love the tracer shad, if you love that fishing that style of bait, definitely check out uh, this mold right here. It sort of takes a proven concept on the rip wrap and the rip wrap is one of their most um, successful molds and sort of brings it into now that um, forward-facing sonar jigging minnow world and like I said and like you saw you can use the two molds kind of in tandem together to create some super cool effects I mean that that core shot running through the body of the original rip wrap which gives you the core shot of the body and you get that sort of split tail pattern it's almost like having a tail mold that runs through the whole bait absolutely awesome so anyways uh we are getting close guys we're like at ninety-seven thousand and change uh now on the subscriber count um big party when we get to a hundred thousand so thanks uh for all the years of support we're gonna get there we'll, and we'll see you when you do like subscribe hit the notification bell i'll leave a link to the mold down in the comment section and uh definitely check it out we'll see you in the next video